Hi and welcome back to the film and TV channel. Hope you're all staying safe and well. And we have a, a two hour, four minute, uh, it's not an epic, uh, yeah, a little bit long. We'll talk about that later. But we've got a biographical drama film that's entitled Father Stew. Yeah, so we're going to have a look at that today. Written, directed by Rosalind Ross in her directorial debut. I think she did okay. I think she did okay. Not brilliant, but I think she did okay in this. All these little comments and scores as at the 28th of April. 2022 and we start with the score we've got from internet movie database yeah quite impressive 7.1 out of 10 it was a film i didn't i didn't watch didn't read too much up on beforehand uh, i did see little bits for it but i sort of tried to ignore it and tried to watch it with a fresh a fresh mind and obviously it's nice when you do that because you get little pleasant surprises hopefully well that's that's the idea i get anyway from not reading too much about it internet movie database i said 7.1 out of 10 there's 668 people give it 10 out of 10. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> absolute absolute rubbish. Uh, it's, not, it's not 10 out of 10. Perhaps the religious people, because it does paint a nice picture of Catholicism, which does not always get great press, guys, let's be honest about it. I'm, uh, so the jury's out as far as I'm concerned. I'm not a religious person by any means, don't get me wrong. It's not, I have no interest whatsoever. But if there's a, a film a film that uh, revolves around this, and I will watch it because I, I like it being entertained. Entertain, and I must admit, it did entertain me this film. So, yeah, uh, 668 10 out of 10s for this on Internet Movie Database. 980 scored it between 6 and 9, and just 181 scored it between 2 and 5. Yeah, there wasn't as many uh, people give it 1 out of 10. So, overall, my positivity rating based on that score, 84% positivity. So, we're happy with that, aren't we? So, that, that'll do for me. The film stars, of course, Mark Wahlberg, who also produces this. He's Father Stuart Long, a boxer turned Catholic priest. After surviving a motorcycle accident, yeah, he's a bit of a bit of a pisshead as well, this guy. So, yeah, a former boxer and long-time agnostic starts to wonder if he can use his second chance to help others, leading to the surprising realisation that he's meant to be a Catholic priest. priest. Yeah, it's a love story there as well before he turns into a Catholic priest. Probably still a love story after he turns into a Catholic priest, in, in all fairness, but yes, sir. Uh, that's part and parcel of why he got involved in the church in the first place. A woman, yeah, we know what he's got those guys are like. Any, anything like that, there's always got to be a woman involved somewhere along the line. It was released in the UK and the US on or around April the 13th, 2022. So what do the other critics, you've seen what Internet Movie Database thought, what do the other critics say? I mean, I've looked at Rotten Tomatoes, only got an approval rating, quite interestingly enough, of 44%. That's based on 84 reviews as I'm recording this, an average rating of just 5.5 out of 10. So not fantastic from Rotten Tomatoes, is it, to be honest with you? So if you look at that, we've got some more information here, 5.5 uh, out of 10. Uh, 37 fresh and 47 rotten. So, yeah, not very well liked. And the consensus reads, they have a little get their heads together and come up with a paragraph about the film. And they say, Mark Wahlberg is hardworking but miscast in Father Stew. An issue compounded by the way the movie fumbles its fat-based story. OK, yeah, I have to say that. Well, you know, a miscast personality, I'm not, I'm not too sure. I mean, looks-wise, I thought they did, they did a great job with him, but... Uh, yeah, uh, interest, interesting, but I don't particularly agree with that. However, however, there's always a however, isn't it? The audience, our Rotten Tomatoes audience likes it. Uh, they give it an approval rating, which is basically their positivity rating, like mine, of 95%. So, hey, there you go, 4.6 out of 5. Well, perhaps a lot of Catholics watch this as well. As I say, so, as I say it doesn't do any harm to, to Catholicism, that's for sure. But uh, there you go. So perhaps there was a lot watching this. But 4.6 out of 5, 9.2 out of 10 as far as Rotten Tomatoes audience. So we've got a definite split there. Internet Movie Database, which is Joe Public, liked it. Rotten Tomatoes audience loved it. Rotten Tomatoes, not so much. What about the other critic site we look at? Yeah, Metacritic. Yeah, they, they go along with Rotten Tomatoes. So it's a critic-public split on this one, I think. A weighted average only on Metacritic of 42 out of 100. That's based on 21 critics. That's three positive, 13 mixed, and five negative. And it scored anywhere between 25 out of 100 and 75 out of 100. The lowest mark, or one of the lowest marks, was Associated Press's Mark Kennedy. He just gave it 25 and said, There's always something a little off about Father Stew, a sense that the filmmakers have taken a lot of liberties with their real life to make it extra saintly. Again, as long as you accept that, it's not a big problem for me. You know, you know they're going to gloss over things and make things nice. I'm not going to take it as a true story. I'll just take it as a film as entertainment. And, you know, that's all it is. We'll talk about my, my 
basic boats in a bit. But yeah, I'm not overly worried. Chicago sometimes old Richard Rupert, who we always quote a lot, he gave it 75 out of 100 and said, Father Stu breaks no new ground in the biopic game. It doesn't, but it's a solid and worthy tribute to the real life Father Stu. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure he wouldn't be, have been averse to this uh, this this film. Uh, it paints him in a good light. I'm sure perhaps in, the, in a holy light at times, which perhaps he didn't deserve uh, in real life at times. But hey, it's all about forgiveness, isn't it? And moving on. Uh, of course, this guy, Father Stu, continues to do the Lord's work until his death in 2014 at the age of 50. Right, my little thoughts on this, what they were, as I said, coming from a coming from an angle where I have no real time for religion, no offence, I appreciate everyone has got the faith and they can everyone can do what, what they want and believe in what they want and I'm so happy that they can do that. I, so I don't really get involved at this stage in life of, with it at all, in, in all fairness. But I say, a film's a film, so I'm not going to not watch it just because it's about a Catholic priest. I mean, that would be churlish anyway, wouldn't it? So as I said, I read up as little as possible about this, but I wasn't surprised. I wasn't surprised by the mixed reception uh, this has been given. Generally liked by the public, as I said, but not not so much by the critics. The critics were really out against this one. I, I think it was again. I can understand that because I, I think they are saying it, it's glossing over things and making things much much better. But uh, deep down, it is it is a positive story, uh, whichever way you look at it. Uh, Wahl Wahlberg, of course, is is a standout in this, as opposed to what that other critic said. And I thought this role was good for him. I thought he played a good a good role. And the main problem was that it was just too long for me. It was over two hours, four minutes. It was a good thirty minutes too long. I did, I did find myself struggling to sort of watch the first say half of the film because it did did little take a little while to get going. I just got a little, got a little monotonous for me. And obviously, some people would have probably possibly turned off. I usually try and persist right till the end, but. Uh, yeah, that it was. It was too long. That's a big, big thing. It does drag in parts. Uh, but as I said, it was never, never to the stage where I said I was going to turn it off because I thought, well, it might improve. Because <laughs> I'm sure it would improve because there's lots to happen, and obviously, uh, in anyone's life, two hours isn't much, is it? But it's the way it's put together. It didn't quite work. Uh, it's a film, of course. It's entertainment, so no doubt the real true story may, may have been given, as I said, a cosmetic makeover, if you like. But if I was interested in this guy uh, from a factual point of view, then I would, I would read up on him. That's what I do with these sort of things. I usually watch a film like this, so I'm interested in reading up on the true facts, whether it's a biopic of a, a person or an event or whatever. I, I then go away and read up on it. Uh, will I on this? No, because I'm not that bothered. <laughs> As I said, I'm not really bothered in, in that side of it. It doesn't really interest me that much. But as a film, as I said, I was entertained. I thought it was okay, just a bit too long. They could have left a lot of it on the cutting room floor. And it did make me feel, by the end of it, it did make me feel okay with the world, which a film that does that is okay by me. I'm, I'm fine I'm fine with it, whether, but as I say, whether, whether the real truth is there or not. As long as it's just entertainment. I'm not going to take, take the, uh, based on true events with a pinch of salt and no doubt some dramatic license is used as it is in most of these types of films. But I'm just going to take that on, on the head and just said I enjoyed it and I, I felt okay with the world after watching it. So that's all, that, that's fine by me. That, that's fine by me. So let me know what you think, guys. I'm going to give it my watchable score, which is six out of ten. I'm not going to go mad over it. As I said, I was a bit, uh, a bit. It was a bit long, uh, but I was, by the end of it, I was, I was happy. I'd watched it, and I'm glad I watched it. And, and all credit to Wahlberg. I thought he did an excellent job. And there's may have been a, an image or two up there showing the real father stew as well and stuff like that but uh yeah as i said as a as a sort of epitaph for him as well obviously he sadly passed away about eight years ago as i'm recording this uh why not it does it's uh you know there were a few warts thrown in perhaps not as many as there could have been but it's all about forgiveness and moving on isn't it but uh, i liked it so nice nice score six out of ten definitely watchable as i say if you're not if you, if you like me, you're not really just just watch it as entertainment, and that's what I did. I'm not taking too much notice of the based on true events, and that's sort of with thing with this one. Let me know what you think, guys. Anyway, I'd love, love to know what your thoughts are on Father Stew and your thoughts on Mark Wahlberg's, uh, ad, you know, Mark Wahlberg's uh, star in it. You know, did he do did he do a good job for you? I I I, I think he's okay, Mark Wahlberg, but he is he is what he is. <laughs> uh, as, as a lot of actors, they, they play themselves and just adapt it slightly to the role. So let me know what you think. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Until we meet again, I only ask one thing, don't I? Please stay safe, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.